In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you how you can take your own graphic image and make it the core of a moving lower third. This comes as request from one of my subscribers. Please look at the following example where you'll see a graphic image enter the screen from the right. After you've seen the example, we'll show you the technique to do this. The technique we're about to describe will enable you not only to create these elements for this particular project, but how to save them for use in multiple projects. First, we're going to need a video, and so I'll take my video and use it as my background on track number one. The next thing I want to do is I want to take my graphic image. It's a PNG. I'll take and drag it down and put it on track number two. I'll need to edit it, so I'm going to double click on that. That will get me into my PIP designer. Once I'm in my PIP designer, I can modify it. Now, I'll need to do some keyframing, and that's a very important part of what we'll be looking at in this exercise. So make sure your keyframe controls are open. If they're hidden, you'll need to click on the little blue up and down arrow so you can get to the position keyframe controls. We'll give ourselves a little more real estate is I want to take this and move this. I'll put it down and to the right just off the screen. That will be my starting position. I need to make sure my time indicator is on the left, and then I'll click a diamond on the position value to add the keyframe. Now one thing I need to notice is the X position and the Y position because I want it to move totally horizontally. So what I need to do then is 1.5 and 0.833 will decide how long we want it to move into place first of all. So what I need to do is move in the timeline. Let's say we want to give it three seconds and at the three second mark all I need to do is move this and we'll have it fill the screen. Now I need to make sure my values are the same as they were on the other keyframes. So I'm going to click my arrow to take me back and that was 1.5 and 0.831. I'll move to the right. Now it's pop 5 and I need to change this manually. I'll drag over the numbers and type 831. That way I know it will be moving horizontally. So let's stop this now that we've got it set. We have three seconds and let's play it. And it comes in and looks pretty good. So that's exactly what I want for that. Here's a trick. I'm going to click on Save As because we'll be using this in other projects. And then it wants a name. I will just call this pink, My Pink Bar and click on OK. I'm going to click on OK at the bottom. And now I've saved that. We'll get back to that in a moment. My next step is to bring a title in. I'll take the default My Title and drag it down to track number three. I'm going to click quick highlight it and then we'll give it a new title. We'll call this Ray's Tree Service. And we'll have to change the font characteristics, so I'm going to double click on the My Title. That will get me into the Title Designer. I think I'll make it smaller. We'll try something maybe like a, oh, 18 or so and I'll make it bold and then I'm going to move over into the project till I see part of the bar on the screen. And what I like to do here is make sure it's about the right size. Here I'm going to just change it by clicking on a corner and we'll change the scale of it just down just a little bit and then I can use the up and down arrow to move it for height. So I like it right about there, but I want it to move with the bar. How do I do that? I'm going to take my time indicator, move it to the left side. And when the bar comes in, I want raised tree service to be exactly at the left side. So after highlighting it, I'm using the right arrow key to move it perfectly horizontally. It was in alignment between the top and bottom of the bar, and this will keep it that way. So what I want to do is just move it off the screen slightly uh, and then we're going to use it as 
right about there I think is pretty good maybe back another couple of hits then what I want to do is keyframe it we'll set the keyframe here and we know the bar comes in and stops approximately three seconds into the project so we'll move our time indicator to three I'm going to set a position keyframe for the title and now I can move it either using the mouse I do have coordinates here for X and Y I think I'll just move the mouse here and let's see how they match the other XY's I go back to the first keyframe I'm at 834 and here I'm 828 so I need to change this to 834 so it's perfectly horizontal and now we'll stop it and we'll we'll play and see if they're about at the same pace close enough for illustration here so now I have my title coming in with my background and so what I want to do next is I'd like to take the title and save it I'll click Save As and we're going to call this a template it will be called customer because I could do this for several different videos the same way click on OK then we'll click on OK we go back to our main screen and we play this we should see something pretty close to what we had a moment ago so it comes in on top of the bar now let's assume we're in a completely different project how do you save the work and not have to do this all over again well let's try that I'm going to go ahead and delete my background and I pulled in another file I have a different background I'm going to delete the pink bar and the customer and let's assume I'm in a completely different project how do I use these elements all I need to do is after I have my background in I click on my pip object room the video overlay room and when I click on the down arrow I'm going to look at custom here is the one I called my pink bar I'll take and drag that down put it all the way to the left go into the title room there I'm going to also be in custom and I'm going to take my customer and put that on the track below it and so I in this different project when I play it it comes in the same now the only thing I need to do to change things is double click on the title so we will call this desert water conservation and I'm using the same custom background for my graphic in the lower third to make it portable in multiple projects